valve stem here on a four-wheeler. The tires were very difficult to put on the first time without a tire machine, and I don't have a tire machine, and I didn't want to deal with it again. So today we're going to figure out how to put a valve stem back in a tubeless tire without taking the tire off. So here's our four-wheeler. See the valve stem. It actually broke off from a stick or something, I'm not sure. I tried to take the old part out and got it removed, and so now we're ready to put the new valve stem in. So let's go over here. So I found this plastic funnel. I got some oil, a seven and a half millimeter quarter inch drive socket, and a T handle, and then the new valve stem. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some oil on the end here, put it down in the funnel, and then we'll use this piece here to push it in. Seven and a half millimeter socket, I got oil on the end of this, and I put a bunch of oil inside of the funnel. So you know, let's put them together like so. Start to push it down. You'll feel some resistance. Just kind of work the oil around a little bit. Uh, extra oil is always better. The valve stem went in, the tire didn't have to come off. I will note one thing, when I first tried to do it, the uh, plastic funnel couldn't quite handle the pressure, so I just put a hose clamp on the end to make sure that diameter stayed the same. Also, it might be a little easier if I had a slightly larger funnel, so maybe in the future I'll cut back a little more until it's closer to that 0.46 inches, but otherwise, um, I've done this on trailers before, and four-wheelers are definitely more difficult because of the angle of the valve stem, but on a trailer tire, this is a quick, easy way to change out a valve stem without having to take it to the tire shop. Hope it helps you guys out.